The latest buzzword and the next big thing everyone seems to be talking about is the metaverse. But what is it? How can you be part of it? Well, the metaverse is considered to be a virtual space that combines digital environments with various online platforms, almost like a more comprehensive internet. The hope is that one day there will be a place where online interactions are even more multidimensional than they are today. While we're not actually there yet, we've been steadily blurring the line between technology and real life, and the metaverse is the next step. So how did we get to this point? And more importantly, what's next? Radio and Television Radio and television were some of the first technologies to bridge the gap between audiences and the fictional world. Creating a never-before-seen or heard form of storytelling, these devices offered a newly immersive experience that could be enjoyed anytime. Take old-time radio shows, for example. Whether you were at home or in your car, these long-form tales transported listeners to another place. In fact, on October 30th, 1938, the radio adaptation of H.G. Wells's The War of the Worlds painted such a vivid picture of a Martian invasion that it caused actual panic amongst listeners. Television then took this immersive experience a step further by introducing visual stories that played out right before your eyes. The first television sets displayed a black and white picture and only had access to a few stations. Today, high-definition smart TVs are the norm, and with cable and satellites, there are now almost too many channels to choose from. As part of the metaverse, radio and television will play a unique role in supporting the newly immersive environments. The streaming platform Audius has already launched what it's describing as a radio tower in the online game Defy Land, allowing players to access more than 450,000 tracks while in the game. In addition, recent data showed that by the end of 2020, 665 million homes worldwide had a smart TV. Smart TVs provide viewers with a more personalized in-home experience, creating the potential for there to one day be fully interactive devices. There's no doubt that smart TVs will get smarter and play a major role in the rise of the metaverse. What if you could watch a show and be able to buy the shirt your favorite actor is wearing right from your TV? Or maybe you like their shoes or hat, and with a couple of clicks or by using voice command, an order has been placed and that exact same hat is on your doorstep the next day. These are only a few of the possibilities. Video games when it comes to video games, we've come a long way since the days of Pong, Asteroids, and Pac-Man. These games opened the door for today's home gaming systems like PlayStation and Xbox. Gaming has gone from the arcade to the living room to online. Immersive gaming experiences have been around for a while now. Anyone who's ever stepped foot into The Sims or created a new identity in Second Life understands the powerful and often devastating bond one can develop with their avatar. Recently, the gaming industry has become the largest entertainment sector in the world. In 2019, Netflix even cited Fortnite as their largest streaming competitor over anyone else. Since its debut in 2017, the game has surpassed over 350 million registered users, and gamers logged 3.2 billion hours in the game in April 2020 alone. That's an average of 4,624 human lifetimes. Gaming companies such as Roblox, Epic Games, and Grand Theft Auto have already begun to incorporate elements of their own metaverse into existing platforms. In-game purchases of character skins and other game assets are the majority slice of a game company's revenue. Roblox users spend millions of dollars on the site's virtual currency, Robux, which can be used to purchase hats, weapons, hot air balloons, and other digital items for their characters. In-game features have become so lucrative, other companies have started incorporating them into their business model. One example is Nike, who has secretly filed trademarks in preparation 
option of selling virtual apparel so consumers can dress their virtual avatars in the trendiest fashions. As these virtual communities continue to evolve and the metaverse becomes more integrated into the world of gaming, we should expect other technological advances along with it. The Internet since the internet first entered our lives in the early 90s, it has completely changed and shaped the way we interact, exist, and connect with each other. Defined as a global network connected by billions of computers, servers, and other electronic devices that facilitate worldwide communication, that's quite the technical description, we know, it's recognized as the only global communication system of its kind. Users from all over the world are brought together by web pages, social media profiles, online apps, games, and other digital spaces. With the advent of this digitized world, anyone, anywhere, can create and live out an online persona that is a representation, accurate or not, of their real-life identity. The immersive experience of our online activity goes even further when you consider the added features of targeted ads and data sharing that help curate an interactive experience designed to cater to our every need and desire. This interactive content helps break down the fourth wall of media consumption, creating a more engaging and personal experience for us as consumers. In theory, the metaverse plans to take these elements of connectivity and push them even further. Instead of simply interacting with a web page or social media profile online, you'll be immersed in a completely three-dimensional environment online that an avatar version of yourself can interact with and experience in real time. Think about how cool it would be to physically attend a Zoom meeting or join your friend at a concert without actually leaving the house. Virtual Reality up until recently, virtual reality was something that seemed to only exist in the realm of science fiction. In fact, one of its earliest references was in the 1935 short story Pygmalion Spectacles by American author Stanley G. Weinbaum. The book describes a pair of magical spectacles that make it possible for the user to be embedded in a movie story. Flash forward a few decades to the 1960s, and this would start to become possible with the first head-mounted VR system. By the 1980s, commercial VR products were starting to be introduced. But it was in 2010 that Palmer Luckey developed the first prototype of the VR headset that would evolve into what is known today as the Oculus Rift. Four years after starting his business, it was sold to Facebook for $2 billion after attracting the interest of Mark Zuckerberg. Since then, several competitors have emerged with their own VR headset technology, with uses from VR games and apps to filmmakers starting to experiment with virtual reality movies and animation. Virtual reality will play a critical role in the execution of the metaverse. In fact, it is already contributing greatly to the preliminary stages. Recently, Oculus launched software that enables users to watch Twitch and Vimeo in a virtual theater with other people. The company has also shared a prototype for a virtual toy room called Toy Box, where two people can interact with a range of objects together. Imagine being able to step into a virtual room with friends and family from around the globe to finally settle who the master Monopoly player is once and for all. This is just the beginning of VR's role in the metaverse. Augmented Reality If you ever wanted to jump into the screen to be part of a video game, then Pokemon Go was a dream come true. Combining the digital aspects of gameplay with the real world, users were able to experience the world of Pokemon like never before thanks to augmented reality. This first-of-its-kind gaming experience gives us a glimpse into how the metaverse could become part of our everyday lives. Defined as an experience where designers enhance parts of a user's physical world with computer-generated input, augmented reality takes the digital experience one step further by creating computerized elements that respond in real time with the user's environment. 
While this type of technology has long-standing roots in science fiction, it wasn't officially coined until 1990, when Thomas Caudell described the term while developing designs to help Boeing workers visualize intricate aircraft systems. AR technology eventually hit the consumer market in the year 2000 with the release of the AR Quake game, which was followed by the design tool AR Toolkit in 2009. Microsoft was then one of the first developers to release a commercial AR headset in 2016 called HoloLens. With a price of $3,000, the HoloLens is a headset with transparent glasses that allows you to see digital 3D objects in your own space, blending the physical world with the digital world. Many companies have followed suit with their own AR headsets, including Oculus, Google, and even Snapchat. The Google Glass was another forerunner in this tech, allowing wearers to access the internet using voice commands. In the metaverse, these glasses may eventually display information about the people and places you see every day. Walking down the street may not just be a mere one-off interaction, but a full-blown interactive experience. The Metaverse now that we've covered the basics, okay, maybe not that basic, we're still left with the question, what actually is the metaverse? While not everyone can agree on one single definition, it can be summed up briefly. The metaverse is still a somewhat theoretical technology that aims to combine digital technologies with current platforms, products, and services. Using a multitude of different mediums, including VR, AR, and possibly even TV and radio, the metaverse is predicted to be the future of the internet, where the digital realm will coexist with the physical world. The word metaverse, meaning beyond the universe, was first coined in the 1992 science fiction novel Snow Crash. Fast forward to today, and it has taken on a whole new life, with a whopping $10 billion already invested in the metaverse by Meta, previously Facebook's Reality Labs division. In 2020, the metaverse market was only worth about $46 billion. Yes, we said only. Predictions expect that number to reach as much as $800 billion by 2024. While these numbers may make it seem like we've already reached infinity and beyond with this technology, some experts believe it could surpass this, and others think it already has. There are already virtual sections of land that have sold for more than $2 million. While we may not have all the technology yet to create the fully immersive experience that is anticipated for this virtual universe, there are still many elements at play that give us a glimpse into the future. If you've used a beauty or eyeglasses website to try on makeup or a different hairstyle or glasses, then you have already engaged with the lower tier of the metaverse. Now try to imagine a virtual shopping center that you can explore with friends, or instead of enduring your daily commute to the office, you meet online with colleagues in a digital workroom to hash out new ideas as virtual avatars. This is where we are heading. The Futureverse it's important to note that the metaverse does not belong to any one individual or company. Similar to the internet, it is meant to be a space for connectivity and collaboration among all users. That said, it will certainly take a village of developers to make the metaverse a true possibility. With so many key players already investing in the content, software, and hardware required for VR and AR use, what once seemed like a far-fetched fantasy may soon be our new reality. This technology will play a primary role in creating VR virtual workrooms where users will wear VR headsets to gather in person for meetings. There are even plans for Ray-Ban to introduce eyewear that will be able to record videos. There are expected to be even more real-world applications, such as providing more intense and immersive field trips for schools. In addition, new markets could open up for industries like real estate, who would be able to provide realistic 3D home tours to clients around the globe. The metaverse even has potential ties in the medical community, 
While virtual reality is already used in robotic surgeries, the incorporation of augmented reality helmets could allow medical professionals to perform procedures across the world and in greater detail than currently possible. As our online experiences become more tailored to our individual preferences, the metaverse is simply the next step into the future. Thanks for checking us out. Got a topic suggestion? Just let us know and tap or click for another great video.